wanna get the job done. I don't know a nigga that could cover for me. Hi guys, and welcome to CrackChinaCup.com. My name's Leonie Anderson, and yes, I know I'm a liar because I keep saying weekly vlogs back, but it's more like monthly, I know. But because Fashion Week has started, I'm definitely gonna try and do a video once a week so you guys can, you know, see what it's like through, from my perspective, doing Fashion Week, you know? And for me, this is day two of my castings. I don't really know how to describe it now because where I've done it so many times, I don't have any sort of like anxiety or I'm not nervous or really stressed out or anything. It's just like I'm on autopilot. You get your schedule the day before, probably around seven o'clock when it's the beginning of the castings. And like as the days go on, your schedule gets later and later and later. So I remember I used to receive my schedule at like 11.30 or midnight sometimes because your bookers are still working, your bookers are still in the office and they're trying to like sort stuff out for you as it gets closer to the actual shows. But right now I would say that, you know, I've got my schedule at around 7 p.m. Um, I've just come in from castings now and as I said, it's day two and I had six castings yesterday and six castings today. And it's just the usual, you just run around the city, it's quite warm. Yesterday was so hot, like I'm pretty sure I stank, but you know, whatever, I just spray a little bit of Chanel actually needs some of that right now. Just got in. Keep me fresh. Yeah, it's been alright, you know. After a while you just you're seeing the same cast and directors and stuff and you know you kind of get a little friendship going on or how are you, how's work been, blah 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 blah. But you know, to me it's like unless you're gonna book me, I'm like, you know, what is it really? <laughs> Uh, let me just explain like the role of a casting director um before you even get to the shows before all that kind of begins you have to go to the casting and then once you've done the first casting then you have the callback so it's like the casting for the casting for the casting for the blah, 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 blah. you get it you just see the same faces over and over again until you either book the show or you don't Castings are, you know, the same old, same old. Some of them you can get there and there's no queue. There's like maybe like one or two girls in front of you. And other times you can get there and you're waiting for like two hours, maybe more. Like, you never know. You never know what you're going to walk into when you're going to a casting. All you do is like walk up the stairs, go on the lift and pray that you don't hear a lot of girls' voices. If you hear a lot of girls, you're going to be waiting, basically. Once you're in the casting, it really depends on what like casting director's style is. Some of them, they just, you know, they ask for a walk, just take your picture and you're done. Some, they like to make girls change completely like into like something basic so all the girls' photos look the same so it's easier to differentiate, you know, whose body is what and who looks like what, etc, etc. Might tell, tell you to tie your hair up, put it down, put it behind your ears. Some say flat, some say heels, like you never really know what the cast is actually going to entail. Um, any new faces who are watching this, um, always have good underwear on, trust me. Always have a hairband on you and always, when you go to your agency, I'm not even joking, one sec. You need to actually get a fat stack of cards because the worst thing that used to happen to me when I was younger was that you know i would take like maybe a stack like this from my agency like oh, okay all right i'm off to my classes now and then you'll go to one class and i'll be like oh can i have four cards please you're like all right um here you go that's four done and then you'll have 10 more classes but you'll have like this many cards left so yeah just to any new faces watching this definitely get a fat stack of cards because the worst thing is having to go to your agency in between castings it's just the same old really um one thing that I'm trying to like, well, the one thing that's always on my mind is the fact that I am no longer a new face. I have been doing this for a while now. And when you're a new face, it's so much easier for you to get shows because it's like, oh, that's a new person. It's easy for like a casting director to take interest in you and maybe book you for all of their shows. But once you've kind of done it, you've worked with everyone or you've worked with a lot of people, it's like everyone knows your face. You can't change your face. You can change your hair like some girls do and that can like, re-spark their whole thing some girls you know change up their whole style or whatever but this is who i am this is me the only thing that's really changed is my hair's a bit longer than it was last season but you know it's a lot harder for you to like catch the attention of someone who you've come seen like so many times but you never know and you have to keep hopeful and that's why i keep doing shows because you never know who's gonna pick you up but i always do quite well so i'm not really too worried about it yeah 
Well, that's kind of it really. I don't really know what else to say because it's only day two of my castings, but um, I'm guaranteeing you that next week you'll see my hair's gonna be messed up. I have like mascara running down my face. I'll be looking all drag up and dry and I'll be like, guys, don't listen to anything I said last week. I'm not calm anymore, da, da, da. I'll probably be going crazy, but you know. You just wanted to see, really. I don't even know what next week's gonna be like. Um, but one thing I will say that everything's a to like 10 million times easier because I live in my own apartment. No more model apartment drama, no one's stealing my food, opening up my seasoning, leaving their dirty dishes in the sink. It's just all my space right now, which is quite nice and it keeps me a lot calmer. Um, and plus a lot of my friends are here too. Um, I'm going to be linking up with like Betty, Michelle, Tiara, everyone in a bit. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is my first fashion week vlog. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Kept it short and sweet, I think. And yeah, you'll see next week what I'm saying about fashion week, basically. Um, thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to visit crackchannacup.com. Ciao.